Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to be doing a new tag that Smoky Glow created. It's called the Small Creator Tag. This is such a great idea for a tag, and honestly, like, I love all the questions here, and I've already seen, like, a bunch of people, like, jump on and do the tag already, including LS, who I adore. So I'm gonna link Smoky Glow and LS's videos down below. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of tags videos, and if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you will consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Let's see, I have my computer open and I have all the questions. We have 14 questions to go over. So, I got my coffee. It's early. Okay, so question number one is, how many years have you been on YouTube? I posted my first video, like, June 2017. So, that I wasn't consistent that summer, but that was the first video that I posted. So, it's been just over a year, almost a year and a half. What was your very first video about? Oh, I remember. I actually, um, my first video got way more views than I ever thought that it would because I was trying out a new foundation and there hadn't really been a lot of videos about it. I'll link it up above. Warning, the quality isn't that great. I started out filming on my iPhone, no mic, just my iPhone. And my first video was on the MAC Next to Nothing foundation. I did application demo, I did a full day wear test, and I ended up really not liking it. <laughs> Question number three is, who is your dream collab? Okay, like, all-time dream collab? I would love to collab with the Taylor. Taylor, I think that would be so much fun. I would love to do, I mean, I don't even know what we would collab about. <laughs> because we have like very different skin types we have different preferences when it comes to foundations i would love to do like a drugstore makeup like favorites video with her because i found a lot of like my holy grail like drugstore products through her question number four is what would it mean to you to make it on youtube honestly i feel like i'm i don't want to brag but i feel like i'm there like for the longest time a thousand subscribers was like that's that'll be i'll have like a real channel like not to say that if you don't have under a thousand that's not real but that was my goal for so long and to have finally hit it like i'm very happy with the way that my channel is right now i really am and i can't believe like i'm about to hit 2000 like we're almost there so i really i have no expectations like i don't expect to earn a living off of youtube I just really enjoy doing this. Like, I have to put in a lot of work every week to get five videos out, but I love every minute of it. And I love getting to interact with you guys. Like, I loved that last live stream that I did where a lot of more, a lot more people could come because I did it on a Sunday night. And I just, ah, oh, I love it. There's no one in my real life that I can talk to where I can be like, oh, so which one do you like better, the Norvina or the Sultry palette? And they'll just look at me like, what? <laughs> what is that? And I can't uh, talk about the different hourglass palettes or just how much I love the new Fenty lipstick. Like, I just love our cute little community. And that kind of answers the next question, what is your end goal on YouTube? I don't really have one. I don't have another subscriber, like, goal because a thousand, like, was my goal. So I'm just enjoying this. I love it. If I get more subscribers, that would be cool. But honestly, I just love where... My channel is what is okay so question number six i'm losing my numbers what is the hardest part about youtube i think the hardest part was learning more about actual like filming and about audio editing and lighting you can see some of my videos the lighting sucks and so like trying to film in a dark attic where there's only two windows and there's no sunlight that really comes through them. And the fact that I really could only film in the morning before I go to work, that's that was really a challenge. And it took me a long time. I had to watch a lot of videos. I had to read some things to figure out the best lighting. And I finally got there. Like, you really need a light source behind you. I had to get that lamp over there. I need light here. I need light here. I've got my ring light right here. So that was really tough to figure out. Also figuring out this is an actual camera that I'm filming on, figuring out how to 
use the SD card because I didn't even know I could plug that directly into my Mac until I had this for like six months. Like, yeah. <laughs> Figuring out the camera settings, because for the longest time I had the exposure all the way up and didn't realize it, and I couldn't film a single video, <laughs> and I had no idea. <laughs> and then uh, just recently I got like an actual mic. Let's not blow this out. This is an actual like blue microphone because I know the audio from just this camera wasn't that great. So I think that's the hardest part was just like having to learn all of these new things to get better quality videos. What is the best part about YouTube? Honestly, the people. Like, I loved that I got to do a collab with uh, Dolly Mama Beauty, Amy. I just, I love the community aspect of the beauty community. Number eight is, what is the funniest comment you've ever gotten? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. So actually the funniest one wasn't meant to be funny, but it was kind of funny to me. I get the most comments on like my two most viewed videos. Those are both of my eyeshadow palette declutters. One I posted a few months ago. I think that was back in like March, February. Um, and then the one that I posted a little bit more recently. And since those get the most views, those get more people watching and more interesting comments. So on one of those videos, it was either that or the beauty blender video. Honestly, I couldn't freaking remember. Yeah, no, it was the most recent eyeshadow palette declutter because I know some people really didn't like the lighting, some people really liked the lighting. You, Unfortunately here you can't please everybody. But in that video someone commented and it was kind of, it was a bit snarky, they were like, oh you will, you need to do this, this, this because your video looks like garbage and you need to do this. And I responded to some comments on that video, like if people had questions or if they said something nice, I just responded. And then the person went back to that video three weeks later and replied their comment and they said oh well isn't it funny that she responds to all the other comments but not mine i just gave criticism <laughs> and i'm like yo you can keep your comment there like i'm not gonna take it down i'm just not gonna respond to it i saw it didn't really think i needed to respond though <laughs> <sighs> so I, I just thought that was kind of funny that <laughs> i guess I, I really wonder like how many times did he like go back and, like check on the comment Okay, uh, so the next question is, what is the meanest comment you've ever gotten? And though a lot of those came on my first eyeshadow palette declutter video because I dared to say something about Kathleen Lights and the whole drama situation where I said I didn't feel comfortable having products from her since that situation happened. And people came for me in the comments. They were like, how dare you speak about Kathleen? She's Latina too. She's just saying stuff in her culture. I'm like, no, no, that's not what that is. Just, but I had people coming and coming, calling me racist. I had people, oh, it was that comment section was a mess. <laughs> but yeah, the meanest comments that I ever gotten were just in that video, which is surprising. Like I haven't gotten any other criticism even on like my uh beauty blender video i only had one comment <laughs> all they commented was just f off <laughs> and i was just like okay <laughs> uh but really the only ones that were really mean were on that one video question number 10 is what other subject matter could you create a youtube channel about personally that could probably be books for me if you look back at like my first videos i the title card says books and beauty because i was trying to i wanted to do both like a booktube and a makeup channel but all i love books i don't think like i'm good at doing videos on them if that makes sense but i do know a lot of books and i do give great recommendations i work in publishing i used to work at a bookstore so if i were to do another channel it'd either be that or an ASMR channel. I've gotten a lot of requests from people for me to do ASMR videos, but um, while I love those videos and I'll listen to them all the time, I listen to them almost every night before I go to sleep. Uh, just with my current setup, I know ASMR videos would not sound good. <laughs> I would need like a real microphone and a real camera. <laughs> Question number 11 is why did you start your YouTube channel? I started my channel because I was watching YouTube constantly and I was loving these videos and it wasn't until I got into watching smaller channels um that I realized like these people are like just like me and they just love makeup enough that they want to talk about it 
so why can't you do that you're like I was so self-conscious and I didn't want to do it for the longest time and the first few videos that I edited like I cringed the whole time because I hated my voice I hated how I looked I hated this I hated that but I'm glad that I stuck with it because I love it now <laughs> I, I learned so much from this and I don't know like I'm very type a and organized and it gives me something that I can like stick to as a schedule I it's organized I love doing it like it's it's a hobby it's a hobby that I love question number 12 is what video are you embarrassed by I would probably say like a my I'm gonna redo this video at some point but it's the video where I do um, like my summer full coverage foundation routine with Dermacol <laughs> half the video is out of focus because unfortunately, the way that I used to film was with the iPhone, so what I would do is try to use the front-facing camera, but the quality isn't as good on that, so you have to use the back-facing camera, but there was no way for me to see what was in focus or what was in screen, so there were a lot of videos where it was just like, um, totally blurry, and for that video, I couldn't edit out the parts that were blurry because they were like kind of important to the video, so that, the quality is just really not that good, so I really do want to remake that video because that foundation trick still works to this day, and I love it to death. Question number 13 is what video are you the most proud of? Recently, I've actually been trying out like new ways of editing and doing more layovers so i was actually really proud of i'll say the first part of the fenty lip stunna video that i did because i did lip swatches for the first time that was new for me i didn't really know if it was going to turn out that great excuse you car i didn't know if it was going to turn out that great um but i loved the way that that video turned out just with the overlays of the lip swatches and trying everything on and just how it for me it looked very seamless and I, I like that a lot i was a little bit sad that the word test turned out the way that it did but you know sometimes you can't stop the migraines and you kind of got to power through other than that i was very proud of the fall date night makeup tutorial that i did because i had so much fun with it and i loved finding the music for that and i loved the look and i loved the whole intro that i did with all the creepy things i just i, I had a lot of fun doing that one I liked that one. Okay, and the last question. Number 14 is, what is your first YouTube memory? And I think they mean like YouTube overall. So I'll do a memory from like the creator side, then I'll do a memory from like the watching side. So I've been on the internet and watching YouTube for a long time. I actually really got into YouTube back in the day. <laughs> back in the day when um anime used to be on youtube back when it was like each episode was in three parts and so you had to watch season one episode one part one season one episode one part two season one like back when they wouldn't let youtube videos be longer than 10 minutes yeah i remember trying to watch a show getting halfway through and then seeing like episode 21 part two was taken down but there was still part one and part three <laughs> and that was the only part that was taken down and so like i went through the whole show and i missed like a huge plot point or something just in that one part and i didn't even know that that big plot point was missing until i talked to a friend about it a year later and she goes yeah like that whole thing happened i'm like what when and she goes like in this part i was like oh is that the missing video part <laughs> it's a lot easier to watch anime nowadays <laughs> it's not as much work my well earliest memory as a creator came when i found these smaller channels and i just remember thinking like i watched so many great channels and i'm like these are such good videos like, i don't know why these people don't have more subscribers i don't understand why they don't have more views but at the same time i looked at them and i was like i can be them i can do this too like what's holding me back if I do love this so much and that's when I actually started I think I filmed my Mac video like the next week it was just getting over that self-conscious hump 
So those are all the questions. I had a lot of fun with this tag. I, I love tags and I think this was just a really well curated tag. So thank you Smoky Glow for doing this. Don't forget I will link her channel. I will link LS's video down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you also are a creator, I tag you. I would love to see other people do this tag as well because these are some really interesting questions. So thank you so much for <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.